In this video, we're going to use a linear approximation to estimate a function value. And uh, they say use an appropriate linear approximation to estimate, estimate 0.999 to the 7th power. So let's talk about the formula for a linear approximation. The formula for the linear approximation actually comes from, it's basically a tangent line at your specific point. And as long as your value... Uh, that we're looking at, our A value that we choose is close to 0.999, then the tangent line actually gives us a good estimation of the value of that point. So this is basically the tangent line written in a general form um, from point slope form. But they give us this F of A and they tell us pick an A value basically. So we're going to say that A is equal to something close to that, which I'm going to say A is equal to 1. And then they want us to pick a function. So we got to pick a function, and we can pick really any function that is uh, close to this function that when we use um, a specific A value gives us a number that's close to that number. So for me, I'm just going to pick x to the 7th. But there are other versions of this where you can pick other functions and other A values. Now I'm going to find f prime of x because I'm going to need it to evaluate this f prime of a piece. So I'm going to have 7x to the 6th as my f prime of x. Now, I need to know f of a. So f of a is equal to f of 1, which if I take a and I plug it into the original function, that would be 1 to the 7th, which is 1. And then I need to find f prime of a, which would be f prime of 1, which ends up being 7. Now I know my x value is 0.999. So I can go ahead and start using this formula and replace, so I can say L of 0.999 is equal to F of A, which in our case this would be, uh, we're going to say that this is, we'll write this all out nice, F of 1 plus F prime of 1, and this would be times 0.999 minus 1. So I end up with, if I substitute here, f of 1, we already know is 1, plus f prime of 1, which is 7, times 0 .99, 0 0.999 minus 1 is point, uh, it's actually negative 0 0.001. Now I'm going to multiply this and combine this together, 7 times that negative 0.001 value plus 1 gives us 0.993. So this is saying that um, our linear approximation for 0.999 to the 7th is equal to 0.993. Now I'm going to actually plug that into the calculator to show that this is pretty close. When I plug this in the calculator, uh, 0.999 to the 7th using calculator. I end up with 0.99302. I'm just going to say dot, dot, dot. So you can see it's pretty close to this. And remember, this linearization equation comes from the tangent line, the equation for the tangent line.